Hello, my name is Xin Chen Zhao, a third-year PhD student in Spain's Virginia Tech. My advisor is Dr. Dong Dong. Today, I will give an introduction to the design of a 200 kW high-efficiency, high-power density, and high-altitude silicon carbide-based model drive system. The high-power model drive system is more and more popular in the high-speed railway, electrical vehicle, or the more electrical aircraft system. The transportation electrification shows the trend of a higher power rating, higher speed, higher efficiency, and higher power density. We designed a model drive system for 200 kilowatts model. The DC link voltage is 740 volts, and the output current is 300 mRMS. We made a comparison between the traditional two-level inverter and the three-level T-type inverter. We found that we can use a much smaller EMI filter if we use the three-level T-type topology. Also, with the same THD, the lower switching loads can be obtained with the three-level T-type. With the same switching frequency, the output current THD of the three-level T-type inverter is much lower than that in the two-level inverter. Uh, in addition, the voltage stress of the power devices in three-level T-type is much lower than the two-level inverter. The model drive system can be divided into two parts. One is the semiconductor part, and the other one is the EMI filter part. The semiconductor power consists of DC bus bar, AC bus bar, gate driver, and power modules. The Rogozi coil and the decoupling pads are embedded in the gate driver. And the AC bus bar, DC bus bar decoupling pads are separated to reduce the thermal stress of the components in the hardware system. The gate driver consists of two parts. One is the high power part and the other one is a low power part. In the high power part of the gate driver board, the decoupling pads and the Rogozi coil are embedded. In the low power part, uh, there are in the low power part there are gate driver uh, the gate driver circuit, the signal processing circuit of the Rogozi coil sensor and the FDJ controller. Three Rogozi coils are embedded in the gate driver for one phase, and the three Rogozi coils are embedded close to are, are embedded near uh, are embedded on the DC terminals, on the DC terminals to reduce the, the AC uh, to reduce the high frequency AC noise. Uh, one important factor affecting the Output, uh, output signal quality of the Rogozi coil is the uh, number of turns of the coil. Uh, here, we just use this flow chart to optimize the, the turns number of the coil. Uh, with the increase of the turns number, the paradigmatic patterns of the Rogozi coil and the self-inductance of the Rogozi coil will, inc will increase, so the resonant frequency of the coil will be reduced and the bandwidth of the because the coil sensor will be reduced. In the design process, we reduced the number of turns gradually until the bandwidth reached the target. Then we just use the optimal uh, turns number for our design. Of the output signal of the coil will be sent to the integrator and a buffer, and then a low pass filter. Then we can get the analog signal of the Rogozi coil sensor. The analog signal will be sent to the ADC, uh, and FPGA will receive the, the current information, and then it will be sent to the DSP. Uh, in the DSP, the phase current reconstruction will be, uh, in the FPGA, the, in, the, in the FPGA, the phase current reconstruction uh, will be conducted, and uh, the DSP controller will use information for the closed loop control. Uh, another function of the Rogozi coil sensor output is, is a short circuit protection. So the upper, the upper signal of the Rogozi coil sensor will be
uh, will be compared to a threshold, and uh, the short circuit partition will be triggered once the output voltage is is over over than the threshold. Uh, it, it's, it's over the threshold. We did the double pulse test to verify the function of the Rogowski coil. Uh, here you can see that the device current can be captured very accurately with the customized Rogowski coil. And also based on the Rogowski coil output, the short circuit protection can be triggered effectively. And the uh, response time of the Rogowski coil is only uh, 225 nanoseconds. Uh, we embedded the decoupling path in the uh, gate driver to shorten the commutation loop as uh, as much as possible. Uh, we verified that in the double pulse test, and we can find that even when the gate resistance is zero ohm, uh, the maximum uh, overshot voltage is only 473 uh, volts, uh, and uh, we have uh, enough margin considering the voltage stress of the uh, uh, of, of the power devices. Uh, and based on the re uh, based on the resonant frequency during the term of transient, we can find that the total loop inductance is only 21.7 nanoharads. One important problem for the three-level inverter is uh, uh, voltage ripple on the neutral point. Uh, we use an active control in the modulation to balance the neutral point potential. Uh, the method is just to control the dwelling time of the two switching stators of one short vector. Uh, we use the hysteresis control for this projector, so the charge or the dis discharge of the neutral point can be controlled by adjusting the location of the uh, dwelling time of the stem, stem uh, short vector. Uh, we apply this uh, modulation to the prototype and we can find that with this active control, the neutral point uh, potential can be balanced. Or uh, if we cancel the active control in the modulation, there will be a deviation of, uh, between the upper and the lower capacitor voltage. Uh, here is a prototype of the 200 kilowatt motor drive system. Uh, we push the voltage to uh, 400, uh, 740 volts, and uh, the phase current is up to 300 mRMS. We can see that uh, the output current quality is pretty well with the three level topology, and uh, the neutral point ripple is very small with the uh, active control of the um, neutral point balance. Uh, for the potential application in the aircraft system, so in our design, we're considering the partial discharge at a high altitude. And uh, we did some partial discharge test in the low pressure chamber in our lab. And you can see that uh, on the sea level, the PDIV between the DC terminal and uh, the ground terminal uh, is uh, 1.78 kilowatts. And uh, uh, if we uh, reduce the, the air pressure uh, to the air pressure at uh, the altitude of uh, 25 kilofeet, the PDIV is decreased uh, to 1.3 kilowatts. But uh, it still uh, can meet the requirement, uh, requirement of our system. Oh, thank you very much for your listening. If you have any question or suggestion, please contact me with this email. Thank you.